What's going on guys, Gitchy1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a quick video that is going to be a graphical comparison between current gen Grand Theft Auto 5 and next gen Grand Theft Auto 5, meaning the one on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. So I've got a few pictures here that I'm going to show you side by sides that are the same scenes in both versions of the game, but it should be pretty easy to tell which one is which. So without any further ado, why don't we jump right into the first picture. Alright, so looking at this one here, you can see that we've got roughly the same angle looking at the same mountain, and okay, the difference right off the bat is mind-blowing. On the left, obviously, you've got the one on the PS4, and then the one on the right, you've got it on current-gen system. That could be either Xbox uh, 360 or PS3, either way, they're both pretty much the same. So the only difference between these two pictures is really that they're taken at different times of day. So why don't we point out a few of the differences. First of all, look at the grass. That's gonna be the biggest thing that stands out first. On the PS4, you've actually got blades of grass, so you can see flowers and everything. On the one on the right, on current gen, you've kind of just got a smooth texture. I mean, it's kind of a, a flat surface that they kind of stamped some textures down on, and it doesn't look like it has any depth. It just kind of looks flat. Besides the rolling hills, I mean, it's really, it looks like that stuff is just painted on there. Even the mountains in the background. On the one on the left, on PS4, you've got really clear-cut lines, much higher definition. And then the one on the right, it's a little foggier, blurrier, and it just doesn't look as lifelike. So I would have to say the one on the left is overall better in every respect. The color, the lighting, the attention to detail, all that stuff. So why don't we move on to the next picture. This one here is already labeled for you, but honestly, it doesn't even need it. I mean, you can tell right away which one is which. On the left, obviously, you've got PS3. On the right, you've got PS4. Alright, let's start off with the one on the left. Once again, the ground, it just looks flat. You can see some, like, foliage and stuff on the ground there, but once again, it just looks like it's stamped there. It looks like somebody took a paintbrush and painted it on. It doesn't have any depth, really. And the bark on the trees isn't bad, but then when you look at the one on the right, once again, there's, there's grass, there's blades of grass. They're flowers. They blow in the wind. It just looks so much better. Even the pine needles. In the right, you can almost see individual pine needles. The lighting is so realistic. And then in the one on the left, on the PS3, they're all kind of the same shade of green. There's really no dynamic lighting happening. And the tree bark just kind of looks like smooth with that uh, texture painted on it. I feel like the one on the right, once again, is just overall better. The lighting is so much more realistic. The bark looks better. The grass looks better. The animals look great. And to really sum up this picture, I would have to say the same thing I said for the last picture, it just looks so much more lifelike. So then moving on to the third and final picture. This one isn't quite as drastic as the other two photos that I showed you, but there are still definitely some differences to be pointed out. First thing that I noticed looking at this one is the draw distance. When you look at the skyscrapers in the background, you can see their outline, but besides that, uh, the one on current gen doesn't really render any individual lights. But as you can see, the one on the right on the PS4 has individual lights rendered. It's got much more detail going on. Even the clouds just look a little bit more realistic. It's kind of hard to tell from this picture, but they've got just a bit more texture, and they're not as, uh you know, blurry and fluffy as the other clouds. They're a bit more realistic. Next, why don't we take a look at the tree in the center of the screen. The one on the left, on current gen, it doesn't look bad. You know, the lighting looks pretty good, the colors are pretty good, but when you compare it to the one on the right, once again, same thing that I said for the last few pictures. It just looks so much more defined. You can actually see individual leaves, and it's not as much of a blob. You know, I'm not trying to say that the one on the left looks bad, but the one on the right just looks slightly more realistic. So one thing that I do want to point out about this picture is the lighting. You might be looking at the one on the left thinking that it looks better, and you might look at the one on the right on PS4 and say that one looks so blah and dark and boring. Well, one thing you have to consider is that, you know, they took the picture from the same angle, but it's not the same time of day with the same sunset. Obviously, the one on the left has much more sun shining through, and the one on the right, it looks like the sun has already set. So, if you're thinking that the one on the right just looks a little too dark or boring or, like, more like GTA 4, it's because the sun has already set. I'm sure if it was taken at the same exact time of day, it would look much better. So guys, that about does it for this video. Please tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you think there's a drastic difference? I think the difference is pretty big, and I think that the PC, PS4, Xbox One version looks great, and I'm definitely going to be picking up a next-gen copy for myself, but uh, you know, I'm curious to know what you guys think. So with that, please stay tuned for more videos in the future. I will see you next time.